All right. Today we're going to talk about Pythagorean triple. All right. So we all know the Pythagorean theorem in geometry. That is when a triangle is right angle with sides A, B, and C, where C is hypotenuse, then A squared plus B squared equal C squared. All right. Now here. If we look at A, B, C with positive integers, if they satisfy this equation, we call them a Pythagorean triple. And the first famous one would be 3, 4, 5, right? And, um, you know, another fact about that is if A, B, C is a triple, in other words, A, B, C satisfies A squared plus B squared equals C squared, then if you multiply them by same constant K, where k is just another positive integer, then ka, kb, kc satisfies ka square plus kb square must equal kc square. So that means they also form a Pythagorean triple. So in most cases, however, we're interested in what is called the primitive triple, where abc not only the integers, but also the co-prime. Now recall that we call a two integers co-prime if they're relative prime. In other words, the common factor is just one. There's no common factor greater than one. All right, so all these triples are well known, and you've probably seen that you know, from your SAT and other exams, you know, 5, 12, 13, 20, 21, 20, uh, 29, 7, 24, 25, uh, those are uh, very common um, Pythagorean tables. But of course, there are infinite many of them. All right? As a matter of fact, Euclid gives the formula to calculate the ABC value from any other integer A, M, and N, where M is greater than N. All right? So here, because M is greater, this is a positive. All right? And we claim that A, B, C form a Pythagorean triple. And we use simple algebra to verify that, right? So for example, with this, so we know what is A square, right? So A square would equal to, this square would equal to M to the fourth minus two M square N square plus N to the fourth, right? Here the B square would equal to four M square n square. Here c square would equal to m to the fourth plus 2m square n square plus n to the fourth. Now you can use simple algebra if you sum them up this will become this this term these two terms will combine become positive so it equal to this. So it's very easy to verify you know there are indeed um, a triple. Now, since m and n can be any number, so we would have an um, infinite many a, b, c, and uh, triples. Now, for example, here let's try different m and n's, right? So let's try that. So this is m, this is m and n, right? And then, what is A, B, C? Okay, try a few examples. M is, must be greater than N, so let's try 2 and 1. And let's try maybe 3 and 2. And maybe try 5 and 2. Alright, so in this case, 2 square plus minus 1 square would be 3. 2 and N would be 4 m square plus 1 square would be 5. This this square would be 9. This would be 4. 9 minus 4 would be 5. Right? 9 mm, plus 4 would be 13. 2mn would be 12. Alright? So this would be 25 and the 4. So minus would be 21. That would be 29. 
two m n would be twenty. All right. So uh, you know the pairs three, four, five, five, twelve, thirteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty nine. So we got that, and so on and so forth. There are infinite many of them. All right. So now we're going to look at so many totally different problems. Rational problems on unicircle. So let's recall what is a unicircle. Unicircle is a circle with radius 1. Okay? And Okay, so this unicircle where this is one zero point, right? This is negative one and zero. Now, the equation is x squared plus y squared equal one. Now, how is this related to the Pythagorean triple? For example, if I got three, four, five, you know, how is this? related to that. So from this point if I you know um look at the point three five four five we notice that uh, this square here you know three over five square plus four over five square would equal to five square is common and three square plus four square that's equal to 1. So which means they satisfy this unicircle equation. So this is 5, 0, 6, and 0, 8. x is 0, 6, y is 0, 8. It's about here. Okay. So that's a P. And this number is rational. So we call rational points here. All right. So as a matter of fact, any other Pythagorean table would give you another rational point. Now for anything, if A, B, C is a triple, then I can get a point which is A over C and B over C on a unicircle. Okay? So that's a Pythagorean triple. This is the rational point. On unit circle. Now we make this connection. Today, however, we're going to try to make the connection from the other direction. So, given a rational point, I try to find Pythagorean triple ABC. All right? We try to derive Euclid formula in a sense, okay? So just look at the, all the points on this circle. We could draw a line between, let's say, this point A is negative 1, 0 here. And we draw a line here. Right. So this line... Let the slope be k. Then the nine equation is going to be y equal k times x plus 1. Okay, this is the PA nine equation, all right? So, because the slope is k, it passes the point, negative 1, 0, right? And let's say we try to solve for p. So p satisfies the equation number 1 and sets the equation number 2 because it's k p here is on the unicircle. So we're going to plug in number 1 into number 2. So I get a, a x square plus y is k x plus 1. We need to square it 
So let's become this equal to one. Now we do some algebra here, right? So this would be x square plus k square times x square plus k square times 2x plus k square equal to 1. Now, you, you combine the term here, k square plus 1 x square plus 2k square x plus k square minus 1 equals 0. Notice that this is a quadratic equation with coefficient a, b, c here, right? So we know this quadratic equation has one solution, one root is known, right? Which is x equal negative 1. Yes, negative 1 is right here, right? We can verify negative 1 satisfies the equation if you plug in. Now we know that this quadratic equation have two roots. One root is negative 1, and the product of the two roots is going to be c over this one. So the other root, which is uh, this root here, x, so the other root x equal Because the product equal to k square negative 1, k square plus 1. And then the product is, is so the, in, and then take times negative 1, right? So that would equal to 1 minus k square, k square plus 1, right? So when we think about it, we solve it, right? Solve the equation here, you know. Basically, and the two equations, right? x squared plus y squared equal to 1. Let's rewrite it. And then y equal k x plus 1. So we solve it. And so one, one solution is negative 1 and 0. The other Solution P is x equal 1 minus k square, 1 plus k square. And in that case, y would equal to k times x plus 1, right? So which is 1 plus k square, 1 minus k square, plus 1. Right? That would equal to k 1 plus k square. 1 minus k square plus 1 plus k square, right? And that would equal to this cancels, this would equal to 2, 2k, 1 plus k square. Now, since we're interested in the rational points where x, y are rational numbers, the slope must also be rational because the slope is y. And then over x plus 1, right? So k is rational. So let k is rational. Yeah. You know, because x, y are rational, are rational numbers. And k, we know that k equal um, here, right? k equal y over x plus 1, where x is not equal to a negative 1, okay? So, k is rational number, so, which means k must equal some n over m, where M, M is a positive number, N is a positive number, are integers.
So now we plug in, right? So earlier we have X and we have Y, right? This is Y. So we have this. Now we plug in over there. So we get what we get is x equal one minus n square m square one plus n square m square and then this will equal m square minus n square m square plus n square right now similarly when you plug in here is n over m one plus n square m square this would equal to 2mn m square plus n square all right so we see here this is exactly what Euclidean formula give us right because this is would be this would be a this would be B and this would be C so in other words what we get is if we have a straight line with slope K right then this P here would be a number like this which is we we get a b c uh, as a pythagorean triple right where a equal m square minus n square b equal to m n c equal m square plus n square just like what we have earlier in the Euclidean formula here all right yeah that's it for um, the content of the lecture and probably good idea to go over the process the algebra and then try to solve um, this equation just like what we did here all right thank you